In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom title slide in Camtasia for Mac. The very first thing you want to do is grab any of your annotations or video clips or images, select them all, and then drag them using your mouse a little bit off to the right. So you want to leave space for your title slide. And usually what I like to do is leave my title slide on screen for between I would say four and six seconds. You really don't want it to be longer than that. So here we are at four seconds. I'm gonna go to annotations and click on shapes. And I wanna pick the white rectangle and I'm gonna grab that and drag that down on here. And I can make that a little shorter. So it fits right in that space. Now, almost with everything that Camtasia puts into your project in terms of annotations, it usually adds the drop shadow. So I like to turn that off or, or to get rid of that. So if I click that little arrow, I'm going to select the drop shadow and get rid of it. And then I'm going to click on my white square here and use the little circles around the outside to make it full screen to fill the canvas. I'm going to go back up to my annotations. I'm going to grab some text, drag that down here. Make that a little bit shorter. And again, I'm gonna get rid of that drop shadow. So I'm gonna open that up, click delete. And you can't see the text right now because it's white. So I need to go over to the properties pane, which is right here. I'm gonna click that gear. I'm gonna change my text to black. And just like any word processor, I can change my font. So if I wanna use Arial, I can do that. Make it a little bit bigger. And we're gonna type in Camtasia for Mac and I just all I'm doing is just dragging out that circle and if I wanted to I could add a graphic here but I'm not going to do that right now and I'm just going to add my transitions now so I want this to fade out before the video starts and I'm going to have the text fade in we can play that back And there's my title slide. So using a combination of transitions and annotations, you can very easily add that to the beginning or end of your project. 